successful shark hunt is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon whiskey and large quantities of pseudo effect. The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. did not consider man when she made her apex predators. Dead Horse Lake serves as a salient metaphor for human fallibility in the face of avoidable catastrophe. But I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural creation cycles. Just saying. There it is. The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. She's up front! Despite increased aerial surveillance, confidence amongst tourists and locals alike is far from buoyant.
Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Shark, perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a countywide shark hunt. is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Depending on its mood, a shark can be slow and cunning, or quick and terrifying. The Barracuda's lethality is sufficient to offset its complete lack of charisma. Horse Lake plays host to the city's working poor, who come despite its frequent water quality alerts.
While the state of Dead Horse Lake is alarming, we can be assured that a new era of environmental stewardship will restore order to our treasured wild places. <laughs> Skiffs are commonly used for drug smuggling. Why, I bet you could load at least $250,000 worth of cocaine on that one. The Barracuda has a mouth full of teeth, each different, each carefully designed to decimate its prey. Albinos may be excluded from animals or rejected as males. The Barracuda is an ambush hunter, capable of speed bursts of up to 35 miles per hour. I suppose it's time to find another shark, huh? Nowhere is the irreversible degradation of the natural environment more on display than Dead Horse Lake. Environmental degradation is a novel driver for conflicts of all varieties.
The bull shark spots the barracuda's glinting scales.
I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. Free recipes are available upon request from the Gulf Coast Fisheries Association. In their pamphlet, Eight Ways to Prepare Bull Shark. Here, it's difficult to miss humans' impact on the natural world. Humans' record as a steward of our lakes and rivers has been checkered at best. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Some shark species practice cannibalism in utero. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone-disrupting chemicals and palm oil.
Muscle contractions produce surges of electrical activity imperceptible to humans, but not to a shark.
Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable seaman. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Hunger is a driving force for the bullshit. Swimming at a waste disposal site heightens your risk of a shark attack, not to mention all varieties of diarrheal illnesses.
The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. While most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips, in real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. shark can add zest to any ocean out.
Handyman Special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Depp. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. The hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. Fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Fire. Shark fin! <laughs> 